friends once again welcome back to advanced mathematics 2 session so i think so far we have uh, discussed about uh, elementary definitions of uh, vector algebra it means that uh, we have discussed about uh, so what do you mean by scalars what do you mean by vectors right and uh, how do we define a vector and uh, how do we define a types of vectors namely zero vector or a null vector unit vector co initial vector right and how do we define equal of two vectors and negative of a vector as a clear i think uh, yesterday uh, we have discussed about uh, addition of uh, two vectors as a clear suppose if they give two vectors uh, how do we add two vectors is clear and how do we use pythagoras theorem to uh, addition of uh, uh, two vectors or uh, we have used uh, parallelogram is clear right in case of uh, addition of two vectors how do we use a parallelogram law is clear and i think uh, we have also uh, discussed about multiplication of a vector by a scalar is clear so we are able to define a vector then suppose if you multiply by a scalar then uh, what we will get geometrically as well as uh, analytically as clear now we have discussed uh, these things and then uh, at the end of the last session we have discussed about uh, components of a vector in two dimensions uh, as well as uh, three dimensions as clear and after that i think i have solved one or two examples right so today i have planned to continue with the uh, same thing it means uh, i wanted to give a brief outline about uh, uh, components uh, in three dimensions as clear then i have planned to solve some examples uh, right about uh, uh, two dimensions as well as uh, three dimensions uh, then uh, we shall discuss about uh, so what do you mean by a dot product or do you mean by a cross product as clear so i want to introduce uh, dot and uh, cross product right now as we have discussed uh, yesterday or in the last period so we know that in three dimensions so we are using the line x o y is called x y plane as clear and similarly y o z is called z y plane right and z o x is called x z plane as clear right so now we want to define a unit vector namely i and z similarly k along the x axis y axis and z axis is it clear and you can obtain the components along the x axis is x i along the y axis is y z along the z axis is z k or the components along x y z axis right so what we have discussed in the last period is it clear right so i hope now here we want to find out the position vector the value of a position vector for that reason so you can use the triangular law as clear right so i hope so you know that p1 to p is parallel to or as clear the component of or is z into k and similarly the component of p1 to p is also z into k right and the component of oq is xi and the component of os is yz then you can use the triangular oq plus q into p1 that is equal to o into p1 i hope you will get the value of op1 so op1 is xi plus yz is it clear in the similar way so you can use op1 right plus p into p1 that is equal to o into p1 the value of o p1 is x i plus y z and p p1 is z into k and that is the value of the factor o p or position factor as clear now what i have uh, written here so o p is equal to o p1 plus p1 that is equal to x i plus y z plus z k as clear suppose if you want to find out uh, length of the position vector op so how do we calculate the uh, length of the position vector and we have already discussed uh, so length of uh, a vector as clear 
or magnitude of a factor. Suppose O p is equal to r, this is the given factor. How do we calculate it? It is denoted by r, r O p that is equal to length of O p that is equal to I hope you know that square root of x square plus y square z square is it clear. So, co coefficient of i, coefficient of z, coefficient of z, z is it clear right. I hope namely you will get square root of these things and you will get a particular number right. Suppose, if they give two vectors namely a and b right, then we want to calculate the component from the given two vectors is it clear right. So, a can be represented as a 1 i plus a 2 j plus a 3 k and similarly, b can be represented by b 1 i b 2 j plus b 3 k right. Then I want to add these two vectors as clear. Now, how do we add these two vectors? So, we are already familiar with the addition of two vectors. You can write down factor a plus factor b that is equal to we can add corresponding numbers a 1 plus b 1 into i right plus a 2 plus b 2 into z plus a 3 plus b 3 into k right. I hope you will get a resultant factor right. In the similar way you can obtain the difference of two vectors as clear. Now, as it is they have given vector components namely a and b. Now, I want to find out uh, difference of two vectors as clear right. Uh, like addition now you want to find out a 1 minus b 1 into i plus a 2 minus b 2 into z plus a 3 minus b 3 into k right. And similarly, the vectors a and b are equal sometimes we will say that equal no right. In this case how do we recognize whether a and b are equal or not we have to verify this condition. So, a 1 is equal to b 1 a 2 is equal to b 2 a 3 component is equal to b 3 component as clear. In this case you can say that vector a is equal to vector b right. Sometimes so we can use multiplication of vector a by any scalar lambda. How do you multiply? So, lambda into a right. So, in this case we have to multiply lambda into first component lambda into second component lambda into third component as clear. I hope you can obtain a vector right and similarly the addition of a vectors and the multiplication of a vector by a scalar together gives the following a distribution law right. So, a, a as usual a and b are the given vectors right k may be any scalar then how do you multiply k into a vector plus m into a vector a k is a scalar m is a scalar then you can write down k plus m into a vector a right. And similarly, k into m into a again k and m are scalars a is a vector right. So, you can write down in this form k into m is equal to a for example, 2 into 3 into a vector right or you can write down k into a is one vector b is another factor. So, that is equal to you can write on k into a factor a plus k into a factor b. So, for example, 2 into a factor a plus b can be written as a 2 into a plus 2 into another factor b. So, like that you can obtain a distributive law is it clear right. So, in particular uh, suppose if they give uh, vectors like this find the values of x, y and z. So, that the vectors a and b are given sorry a and b are equal right. So, we want to find out the value of x and y namely uh, x, y and z. So, a is given that uh, x into i plus 2 into say plus z into k and b is given that 2 into i plus y into z plus k right. So, they have given that these two are equal right. So, we know that two vectors are equal if and only if their corresponding components are equal. Thus, A and B are, uh, will be equal if and only if we know that x is equal to 2. Here x into i another vector is so 2 into i right. It uh, Here you can verify whether x is equal to 2 right and another one is y is equal to 2. Another component is y is equal to 2 and third component is 
z is equal to 1 right. So, two vectors satisfies uh, these two conditions then we can say that uh, equal is it clear. Here you can uh, find out uh, the value of uh, x y and z right. So, another example may be like this. So, a is equal to they have given i plus 2 j and b is equal to 2 i plus j is factor a is equal to b means modulus of a is equal to modulus of b we want to verify right or the factors a and b are equal right. So, you can verify like this you can calculate modulus of the given vector is it clear the coefficient of i is 1 the coefficient of j is 2 right. So, you can calculate 1 square 2 square I hope you will get square root of 5 and similarly so modulus of b is it clear 2 square plus 1 square coefficient of i is 2 j is 1 right 2 square plus 1 square is equal to square root of 5. So, therefore, you can say that modulus of a is equal to modulus of b right, but you can verify whether these two are equal or not right. The two vectors are not equal since their corresponding components are different as clear. You can observe the components of these two vector components of these two vectors are different as clear. So, length may be same that is why you can say that these two are not equal right or sometimes they may give a vector and they may ask us to find unit vector in the direction of vector a is equal to 2 i plus 3 j plus k right. So, this is the given vector we want to find out a unit vector. So, we have already defined a formula or I have already given the formula for the unit vectors as clear. So, unit vector is denoted by a hat that is equal to 1 divided by modulus of a vector a into a vector as clear. So, first I want to calculate the value of modulus of a right. So, coefficients of i, j, k are 2, 3, 1 as clear. According to the formula you can write on modulus of a is equal to square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 1 square 2 square means 4 3 square means 9 plus 1 square means 1. I hope you can add or you can simplify you will get 14 as clear. So, therefore, a hat is equal to 1 divided by a modulus of a into factor a. So, you can substitute the value of a modulus of a modulus of a is a square root of 14 into the factor as clear. So, this is equal to you can write in 2 divided by square root of 14 plus i plus 3 divided by square root of 14 into j plus 1 divided by 14 into k. This is the unit vector right concerned to the given vector is clear. And similarly, so they may ask us to find the vector in the direction of a vector a is equal to i minus 2 j that has magnitude 7 vector is clear. Here what they have given they have given a vector and they have given the magnitude we want to calculate a factor in the given direction is it clear right. So, it means that the unit factor in the direction of a factor is given by. So, a hat is equal to we want to use the previous formula right. So, a hat is equal to 1 divided by modulus of a into a you can calculate modulus of a square root of a coefficient of i square coefficient of z square is it clear. So, I hope you will get a minus sorry square root of a phi u is it clear. So, therefore, a is equal to you can substitute 1 by square root of phi u i minus 3 z is equal to sorry it should be 2 z 1 divided by square root of phi u into i 2 by phi u into z is it clear. Therefore, the vector having magnitude equal to 7 and the direction of a is the given magnitude no you can multiply by 7 into a factor right 7 into the factor as a clear. So, this is equal to 7 by square root of 5 i minus 14 by square root of 5 into z. So, like that you can obtain the required factor is a clear. So, find the unit vector in the direction of the sum of the factors. Suppose, a is the given vector, b is the given vector and we know that how do we add those two factors. Here, what we want to calculate after adding these two vectors we want to calculate a unit vector as it is right. So, first I want to add these two vectors means a given two vectors namely a and b. 
So, for example, if I add I can obtain a resultant vector you may call it as an another vector say C is it clear All right. So, as usual you can write on the components 2 i plus 2 j minus 5 k is it clear another vector is 2 i plus j plus 3 k right you can write on as it is you can simplify. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 i right plus 2 j plus j is it clear right 3 j right minus 5 k plus 3 k you will get a minus 2 k. So, it means we have obtained the resultant vector right. So, now we want to calculate unit vector as it clear right. So, unit vector is denoted by c hat 1 divided by c means modulus of c into the uh, vector c is it clear. I hope you can calculate so modulus of c how do you calculate modulus of c using the formula square root of 4 square plus 3 square minus times of 2 whole square as it is. I hope simplify you will get 29 right it can be written as 1 divided by 29 the factor c. So, what is the factor c 4 i plus 3 j minus 2 k. So, you can simplify I hope you will get 4 divided by 29 into i 3 divided by square root of 29 into j minus 2 k into square root of 29 right. So, like that you can obtain the required factor. So, sometimes they may ask you to calculate modulus of the given factors and we are already familiar with how do we calculate modulus of the given factors. I hope you can practice these examples as it clear right. So, they have given a factor a is equal to 2 i plus 3 j plus k right. So, can you tell me how do you obtain the modulus of this factor? It is very simple you can write on modulus of a is equal to square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 1 square as it clear. Simplify I hope you will get the modulus of a and similarly you can calculate modulus of b as it clear square root of 2 square minus 1 square 2 square modulus of this c is again square root of 1 square 2 square 3 square and similarly square root of 5 square minus 2 whole square minus 1 whole square is it clear and similarly you can calculate modulus of the vector e right. So, 3 square and minus times of 4 whole square I hope you can practice these examples is it clear and in the similar way sometimes they may ask us to calculate unit vectors in the direction of the following factors. So, they have given some factors or here I have displayed some factors now you want to calculate unit vector of a a is one factor right. Similarly, you want to calculate unit vector of b c and d as a clear e f right. So, you want to calculate unit vector of uh, these factors how do we calculate you know the formula unit vector of a say for example, it can be denoted by a hat that is equal to 1 divided by modulus of a into a as clear. Similarly, unit vector of b can be calculated again by using the formula that is equal to 1 divided by modulus of b into b and so on. I hope you can practice these examples right. So, friends I hope now you are able to calculate unit vector as well as magnitude of the given vector is it clear right. Sometimes the situation may be like this. So, they have given two points namely P 1 and P 2 is it clear. So, now we want to join these two points is it clear right. So, how do we join these two points right. So, here if P x 1 y 1 z 1 P 2 x 2 y 2 z 2 be any two points then the factor joining P 1 and P 2 is the vector and you may call it as an P 1 P 2 is it clear this vector is called P 1 P 2 joining the points P 1 and P 2 with the origin O and applying the triangle law is it clear. Now, we are already familiar with the triangle law now you want to apply the triangle law I hope you can obtain O P 1 is it clear. So, O P 1 it is a position vector O P 2 is a position vector O P 1 plus P 1 P 2 that is equal to O P 2 is it clear right. So, using the properties of vector addition the above equation can be written as so P P 1 is equal to 
you can write an O P 2 minus O P 1. Is it clear? So, P 1 P 2 means factor O P uh, P 1 P 2 can be written as a, so you know the value of O P 2, O P 2 is equal to x 2 i plus y 2 z plus z 3 k minus, so O P 1 can be written as x 1 i plus y 1 z plus z 1 k and this can be written as a, so you can write on x 2 minus x 1. Is it clear? Now, how do we calculate the uh, difference between two points, uh, what we have studied uh, in uh, three dimensional uh, geometry, is it clear? It is exactly in the similar way, we can write on x 2 minus x 1 into i plus y 2 minus y 1 into z plus z 3 minus z 1, z, sorry z 2 minus z 1 into k. So, like that you can find out, uh, similarly uh, you can find out the magnitude of uh, that factor namely p p 1, how do you calculate? Uh, square root of right as usual distance between two points right. So, you can use x 2 minus x 1 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 whole square plus z 2 minus z 1 whole square is it clear or sometimes they may give a particular numbers instead of x 1 y 1 z 1 x 2 y 2 z 2 they may give particular numbers like this 2 3 0 is a one point another point another point is minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 is it clear. So, now we want to join these two points is it clear, then you can find out the factor, how do we calculate right. Since the factor is to be directed from P to Q, clearly P is the initial point and Q is the terminal point. So, the required factor joining P and Q is the factor P Q. Is it clear? They have given one point namely P, they have given another point namely Q. You can take P is the initial point and Q is the terminal point. If you join, I hope you will get a directed line segment. Is it clear? And you may call it as an it is a factor. Is it clear? You can denote by using this symbol. Is it clear? Right? How do you calculate that? Using the formula, just now I have given the formula. So, minus 1 minus 2 into i minus 2 minus 3 into z is it clear minus 4 minus 0. After simplification, I hope you will get minus 3 into i minus 5 into z minus 4 times of k is the required factor or p q. Right. <coughs> Friends, I hope so now we are able to multiply, sorry, we are able to add any two factors or if they give two points you can join those two points and you can obtain the factor is it clear right so it means we are already familiar with addition of two factors right subtraction of two factors is it clear right so another operation which intend to discuss regarding factors is the product is it clear? It means so far we have not discussed about multiplication of two factors. Suppose if they give two factors, how do we multiply those two factors? We have not discussed, right? So now I am planning to discuss or I am planning to introduce. Suppose if they give two factors, how do you multiply those two factors? So before that, suppose if they give two numbers, is it clear? Say for example, two into three. I can multiply 2 into 3 is 6, is it clear? Or if they give 3 into 2, I can obtain 3 into 2 is also a 6, is it clear? Right? Or sometimes we are already familiar with the product of two matrices, is it clear? Right? So they have given A is one matrix, B is another matrix. If I multiply those two matrices, so what we will get? And we know that we will get a matrix only, is it clear? When I multiply two numbers 2 into 3 again will get a number only is clear. So, but in case of functions we may multiply them in two ways namely multiplication of two functions point wise as well as composition of two functions is clear right. In the similar way multiplication of two factors is also defined in two ways is clear namely scalar or sometimes we call it as an dot product, scalar product or dot product, where the result is a scalar, 
is it clear? So, whenever we said that it is a dot product means I hope you will get a scalar is it clear right. So, another one is a vector product first method is a scalar product and second method is a vector product or sometimes you call it as an cross product right where the result is a vector is it clear? In dot product you will get a scalar in cross product you will get a vector. So, based upon these two types of products for vectors they have found various applications in geometry, mechanics and engineering is it clear. So, before going to the application, so first we want to define how do we define a dot product is it clear right. Let A and B be any two non-zero factors, we assume that they have given two factors and we can denote it by A and B right. So, dot product or scalar product of A and B is written as actually how do we write product of two factors, you can use a small dot A is given factor B is another factor is it clear. Suppose, if you write like this it indicates that multiplication of two factors is it clear right and is equal to the product of the magnitudes of the two factors and the cosine of the angle between them is it clear. So, A is one factor B is another factor. So, now we are multiplying these two factors how do we write that is equal to magnitude of the first factor into the magnitude of the second factor into cosine of the angle of theta is it clear where theta is the angle between A and B. So, A is one factor B is another factor is it clear right. So, angle between these two factor is denoted by theta right. So, clearly dot product of two factors is a scalar quantity so, it means you have to remember always it is a scalar quantity it is not a factor quantity is it clear. So, then we shall think about geometrical meaning of or what is the geometrical meaning of A dot B is it clear right. So, you assume that so A is one factor so B is another factor right. So, now we want to calculate A dot B is it clear how do we calculate A dot B that is equal to modulus of A into modulus of B into cosine of the theta is it clear cos of or angle between these two factors is it clear right. This, is, this can be written as <coughs> written as a O A into O B cos theta is it clear right. So, O A into O B into cos of the theta is it clear or it can be written as a O A into O M. So, O A into O M right. So, how do you get O M? You can observe the triangle O B M right. You can define cos theta is equal to O M upon O B. So, therefore, so O M is equal to O B into cos theta. It means this can be replaced by O M is it clear. Then you can think about what is the meaning of O M right. So, O M means it is the projection of O B is it clear or projection of the vector B in the direction of A right. The projection of B in the direction of A. So, that is the meaning of A dot B. It means a dot product is it clear or A dot B can be written as a it is a vector as it is O A right means O A means A only A into projection of B in the direction of A right. So, in the similar way we want to study the properties of dot product in the similar means uh, we have studied properties of addition of two hectares is it clear right. So, uh, dot product of two hectares is commutative is it clear right. So, you can write down A dot B that is equal to according to the definition modulus of A into modulus of B into cosine of angle theta is it clear. The same thing can be written as a B into A into cosine of the angle theta is it clear 
right so because uh, so b is a scalar a is a scalar as it there i hope this can be written as a b dot right and it is a, uh, this law is called a commutative or we can say that a dot product is a, a commutative as it there and similarly another property uh, a dot b is equal to 0 suppose a dot b is equal to 0 what is the meaning of it so that implies uh, modulus of a into modulus of b into cosine of the angle theta is equal to 0 as clear or it means that modulus of a is equal to 0 or modulus of b is equal to 0 or cosine of the angle theta is equal to 0 it is as good as a into b into c is equal to 0 it means that either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or c is equal to 0 as clear it is exactly similar to that right so that implies so a is equal to 0 modulus of a is equal to 0 or modulus of b is equal to 0 or cos theta is equal to 0 means what theta is equal to 90 degree is it clear or conversely you can say that if theta is equal to 90 degree then a dot b is equal to 0 is it clear so therefore for non zero vectors a dot b is equal to 0 if and only if a is perpendicular to b is it clear right so i will explain once again it means that a dot b is equal to 0 means that if and only if a is perpendicular to b right it should be noted down so another property for unit vectors i j k right so in this case i dot i is equal to i means you can take a i it is a unit vector along the x axis as clear so what is the meaning of i dot i and you can take it as equal to 1 so modulus of i is equal to 1 and you, i hope you will get a modulus of i whole square is equal to 1 square that is equal to 1 and in the similar way you can calculate z dot z unit vector z dot z is equal to or k dot k is also equal to 1 square in this case also uh, you will get 1 right since uh, i j k are mutually perpendicular and what about other unit factors other unit factors means uh, so j is one vector i is another vector you can calculate j dot i right or i dot j j dot k k dot j or you can calculate i dot k in all these cases we will get a zero is it clear it means except i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k you will get one otherwise you will get a zero why because you can verify i dot j is equal to you can calculate modulus of i modulus of j into cosine of 90 degree is it clear right so cos 90 is 0 i hope you will get 0 right i and j are perpendicular to each other right or sometimes if theta is equal to 0 then a dot b is equal to modulus of a modulus of b in particular a dot a is equal to modulus of a whole square is it clear right scalar product in terms of the components suppose if the u or if they define factor in this form so let a is equal to a1i plus a2j plus a3k and b is equal to b1i plus b2j plus b3k then a dot b is equal to right so you can write on as it is a given factor a dot given vector b namely b1 i plus b2 z plus b3 k so how do we calculate a dot b so you can multiply so a1 into b1 plus a2 into b2 plus a3 into b3 why so because i dot i you have to multiply in the usual way i dot i and j dot z similarly k dot k is equal to 1 is it clear otherwise it becomes 0 otherwise means you can calculate i dot 
z i dot k is it clear and similarly z dot i z dot k is it clear and k dot i and k dot z. So, these vectors becomes a 0 I hope you will get a dot b is equal to a 1 b 1 plus a 2 b 2 plus a 3 b 3 right and sometimes they may ask us to calculate uh, angle between two vectors is it clear. So, they will give two vectors and they will ask you to calculate angle between two vectors how do we calculate suppose if theta is the angle between the vectors a and b then a dot b is equal to modulus of a modulus of b into cos theta right or you can write on cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a modulus of b is it clear right. So, a dot b you know the value of a dot b that can be calculated a 1 b 1 a 2 b 2 a 3 b 3 just now we have observed as a clear. So, whole divided by I want to calcul calculate a modulus of a how do you calculate modulus of a is the given vector coefficient of i whole square coefficient of j whole square coefficient of k whole square here a 1 whole square a 2 whole square a 3 whole square. Similarly, so b is the given vector how do you calculate a b 1 whole square plus b 2 whole square plus b 3 whole square is it clear. So, like that you can calculate angle between two vectors right. So, for example, uh, scalar product of the two vectors means we want to find the scalar product of the two vectors namely they have given a is one vector b is another vector right 2 i minus 2 j plus k is one vector right. So, another vector is b is equal to 2 i minus 3 j plus 6 k right. So, we want to find out scalar product of these two factors along with that we have to calculate find the cosine of the angle between a and b as clear we want to calculate angle also. How do you calculate a dot b is equal to 2 i minus 2 j plus k I have written as it is dot similarly I will write b as it is 2 i minus 3 j plus 6 k right. So, I will multiply so 2 into 2 right I have written as it is i dot i is 1 similarly minus 2 minus 3 I have written as it is minus 2 into minus 3 because j dot j is equal to 1 as clear coefficient of k is 1 right and coefficient of k and another vector is 6 1 into 6 because k dot k is also equal to 1 as clear I hope you can simplify 2 into 2 is 4 right minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 6 into 1 is 6 I hope you will get 12 plus 4 is equal to 16 as a clear that is the value of a dot b right. In the similar way we want to calculate modulus of a modulus of a is equal to square root of the coefficient of i square 2 square the coefficient of j square minus 2 whole square again it is 4 right coefficient of k is 1 square means 1 4 plus 4 plus 1 that is equal to square root of 9 that is equal to 3 right and similarly modulus of b b is the given factor 2 i minus 3 j plus 6 k. So, coefficient of i square 4 coefficient of minus 3 whole square 9 coefficient of k square is 36 is it clear simplify I hope you will get 49 that is equal to 7 right. So, it means that we have calculated scalar product or dot product is it clear in the similar way. So, we want to calculate angle between two vectors right. So, you know the formula cos theta is equal to a dot b all divided by modulus of a into modulus of b and we have calculated a dot b. So, what is the value of a dot b? a dot b is 16 is it clear 16 divided by you know the value of modulus of a modulus of a is 3 and b is 7 is it clear simplify I hope you will get 16 by 21 and that is the angle between two vectors. Is it clear? I hope friends, so now you are able to calculate a scalar product of two vectors along with the angle between two vectors.
as a clear right so they may ask a variety of uh, examples uh, as a clear right so just now we have observed uh, how do we calculate uh, dot product of uh, two vectors uh, and how do we calculate uh, angle between uh, two vectors it means uh, it is possible to measure the value of uh, theta as a clear and sometimes uh, in the given vector uh, they may give some unknowns as a clear right and they may ask us to calculate uh, the value of the unknown as a clear right so in this example uh, they have asked us to calculate the unknown what is the unknown here lambda is the unknown right the example is uh, like this find the value of uh, lambda for which the vectors a is equal to 3i plus lambda z plus k and b is equal to 2i minus z minus 8k or perpendicular to each other is it clear right so you can write down the uh, given vector as it is so a is equal to 3i plus lambda z plus k and b is equal to 2i minus z minus 8k right and we know that uh, when we said that uh, two vectors are uh, perpendicular just now we have observed properties right so we know that uh, a dot b is equal to 0 in that case uh, we can say that uh, a and b are uh, perpendicular to each other right so now i want to use that uh, property is it clear so therefore a dot b is equal to 0 is it clear right so a is the given vector b is the given vector it means that uh, the value of a is known the value of b is also known i will substitute in this formula i have written as it is a 3i plus lambda z plus k and similarly b is also given i have written as it is sorry i should not write b i should write the value of b 2i minus z minus 8k is equal to 0 as it clear and you can multiply 3i into i it means 3 into 2 plus lambda into minus 1 is it clear plus 1 into minus 8 is equal to 0 is it clear 3 into 2 is 6 lambda into minus 1 is minus lambda minus 8 into 1 is minus 8 is equal to 0 i hope you can simplify you can take minus lambda to other side is it clear so therefore so you will get a minus 2 6 minus 8 or lambda is equal to minus 2 so like that you can find out the value of the unknown as a clear or sometimes uh, they may give example in other forms as a clear in the previous examples they have given all the components and they have asked us to calculate angle between two hectares or dot product of two hectares sometimes they may give information in other form right like in the following example right here they have given find the angle between two hectares namely a and b with magnitude 1 and 2 it means they have given the magnitude of a they have given the magnitude of b is it clear and when a dot b is equal to 1 it means they have given product of two factors is equal to 1 magnitude of a is given magnitude of b is also given what exactly we want to calculate we want to calculate the value of theta is it clear how do we calculate right so first you can write down the given information as it is is it clear so a dot b is given we can write down that is equal to 1 modulus of a is given you can write down modulus of b is also given you can write down is it clear and you know the formula cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a modulus of b that implies theta is equal to cos inverse of you can write down like this a dot b divided by modulus of a modulus of b that is equal to cos inverse of you can substitute the value of a dot b is given 1 is it clear modulus of a is 1 modulus of b is also 1 so i think you will get 1 into 1 right so i hope you will get a uh, solution find the angle theta between the factors right a and b is it clear find the angle theta between the factors a and b a is given vector so b is another factor we want to find out theta right how do we calculate 
theta between the two factors a and b is given by cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a modulus of b. Is it clear? So, a dot b can be calculated, you can write on the value of a, you can write on the value of b, you can multiply coefficient of i into i, i into i is 1, j into j is equal to 1, k into k 1, is it clear? Right? Other factors becomes 0, here you can multiply the coefficient of i, i is 1, 1, so 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1 that is equal to you get minus 1 because plus 1 minus 1 cancel, I hope finally we can obtain minus 1, is it clear? So, therefore, modulus of A is equal to, you will get square root of 3. So, how do you get square root of 3? You can observe the given vector, right? Given vector is i plus j minus k, that is equal to square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus minus 1 whole square. Simplify, I hope you will get root 3. Similarly, so B is equal to, once again it is given that i minus j plus k square root of 1 square minus 1 square plus 1 square. Simplify, I hope you will get root 3, is it clear? Right? Then cos theta is equal to a dot b, that is equal to 1 divided by modulus of a modulus b is root 3 into root 3, is 3, is it clear? Therefore, required angle is cos inverse of 1 by 3. So, like that you can calculate angle between two hectares, is it clear? Or sometimes they may ask uh, to calculate whether a plus b is one factor, a minus b another factor, these two are perpendicular or not, is it clear? They have given that a and b are, then show that the factors a plus b, a minus b are perpendicular. Is it clear? So, first we want to calculate sum of these two vectors, sum of given vectors, difference of the given vectors. Is it clear? Then we want to prove that whether these two are perpendicular or not. Right? So, if the scalar product is 0, a plus b is equal to, I have written a as it is plus b as it is. Right? So, how do we calculate sum of these two vectors, phi u plus 1, 6i. Right? So, minus j plus 3j, I hope you will get plus 2j minus 3k minus 5k minus 8k, is it clear? It means we have obtained a plus b, right? In the similar way, similar way you can obtain difference of two vectors, a minus b is equal to phi u i minus j minus 3k and I have written another vector b as it is, that is equal to phi u i minus i, 4i minus 4j plus 2k. Is it clear? It means that uh, you can obtain sum of two vectors, difference of uh, two vectors in the usual way. Is it clear? Right? Then I want to calculate a plus b dot a minus b. So, that is equal to, you can write on a plus b is equal to 6i plus 2j minus 8k dot 4i minus 4j plus 2k. Is it clear? As usual, you can multiply 6 into 4, 24. Right? 2 into 4 minus 8, as it clear? So, minus 8 into plus 2 minus 16, as it clear? So, you can simplify, I hope you will get a 0, right? So, it means that uh, here we have proved that a dot b is equal to 0. Once again, you can uh, go back to the properties. So, when we said that uh, a dot b is equal to 0, if a and b are uh, perpendicular to each other, as it clear? In this case also, you can say that uh, a plus b and a minus b are perpendicular to each other, is it clear? Or uh, sometimes uh, they may ask us to calculate projection of a vector, is it clear? Right? So, they will give two vectors, we want to calculate projection of the vector. Here it is given that a is equal to 2i plus 3j plus 2k, right? Another vector is b is equal to i plus 2j plus k. Right. So, how do we calculate projection uh, using uh, this formula? As it clear, I have already given. Right. One divided by modulus of b into a dot b. So that is equal to. You can calculate a dot b. As it clear, I hope you'll get two into one, three plus three into two plus two into one whole divided by. So vector b is a coefficient of i square, j square, k square. You'll get square root of uh, one square, two square, one square. Simplify. You'll get uh, ten by uh, root six. Is it clear? 
right? Or sometimes they may ask us to calculate modulus of difference of two vectors. Is it clear? How do we calculate modulus of difference of two vectors? Right? So a is equal to sorry, modulus of a is equal to two, and modulus of b is equal to three, and they have given a dot b is equal to four. Right? So we have modulus of a minus b whole square is equal to a a by a minus b dot a minus b is it clear then you can multiply i hope these are the possibilities so a dot a minus a dot b minus b dot a plus b dot b is it clear or you can write down as modulus of a dot a can be written as modulus of a whole square b dot b can be written as a modulus of b whole square and uh, these two can be written as a because a dot is a commutative uh, using that property you can write in uh, two times of uh, a dot b is it clear so that is equal to so you know the value of uh, modulus of a so modulus of a is given to two square right so minus two times of a dot b is uh, what is the value of a dot b a dot b is uh, four is it clear plus uh, Modulus of b whole square. It is given that uh, three, three square, right? Substitute, simplify. I hope you will get uh, five. It means uh, modulus of difference of two vectors is equal to square root of uh, five. Is it clear, right? Or sometimes uh, they may uh, ask us to calculate uh, if a is a unit vector and uh, x minus a dot x minus a is equal to Eight, then find the value of modulus of x. Right? Here x is unknown. We want to calculate the value of x. How do we calculate? It is given that a is the unit vector. Right? So you can write on the given thing as it is. Right? I will write a is the unit vector. So that for modulus of a is equal to one. Right? Also x minus a dot x minus a is equal to eight. So they have given. Is it clear? Right or it means that x dot x plus x dot a right minus a dot x right so minus a dot a is equal to eight is it clear or uh, it can be written as x dot x means modulus of x whole square is it clear and these two will cancel so a dot a is one that is equal to eight. So therefore, modulus of x whole square is equal to eight. I will take minus one to other side. So you get nine. Is it clear? So therefore, modulus of x is equal to three, right? So like that, so we can calculate the value of the modulus of x, right? So friends, sometimes they may give two points. Is it clear? As vectors, right? So a is one vector. So b is another vector. Is it clear, right? And C is a third vector. So we want to prove that all the three points are collinear. Is it clear? Now, how do we calculate? So you are able to calculate vector A B, A into B. A is given, B is given, right? So you can calculate vector A B. Is it clear? And similarly, you can calculate B and C. B is known, C is known. I hope you, in the usual way, you can calculate B into C. And similarly. You can calculate A is known, C is known. You can calculate factor C. I hope you can calculate modulus of these three factors. Is it clear? Modulus of A B is fourteen. Modulus of B C is two into square root of fourteen. Modulus of A C is three into fourteen. Is it clear? I hope in this case, modulus of A C is equal to modulus of A B plus B C. Right? Hence, from this law, you can say that all the three points are collinear. right in the next video we shall solve some more examples thank you thank you very much